Hey, welcome back to another episode of Fixing It with Tony. Today we're going to talk about transmission oil coolers, auxiliary coolers, and what they do for your truck and your hardworking transmission. imperial cooler that we're going to be putting into a Dodge. Now the reason that we're going to be needing to put in an auxiliary cooler in our case is because the truck had a massive transmission failure, had a lot of metal shrapnel that went through the system and so there's not really a great way to clean out the internal radiator transmission cooler so we're going to bypass it completely with an auxiliary cooler. Now, if you didn't have a transmission failure, you might want to put one in series with your stock cooler just to add more cooling performance. Now, what a cooler is going to do is it's, it cools your transmission fluid. That keeps your transmission from overheating and failing prematurely. This is a very important thing if you tow a lot. So, for our application, it's just a, uh, a Dodge Ram 1500. It's not going to be towing a lot. But on all of these coolers, you'll have a chart. And so, we have this cooler here for a full-size vehicle towing up to 2,500 pounds. So, we have the Imperial 242010. Now, say if you had a bigger truck, you might need a larger cooler. Or if you just have a car, you'd need a smaller one. Let's look at the parts that we have that come with the kit that we need to install. So, the main component here, of course, is the oil cooler itself. Now, this is going to look very similar to, say, an auxiliary engine oil cooler. They do the same thing. You just mount this in your cooling stack, and it provides extra cooling for whatever fluid that passes through it. It's like a radiator, but for transmission fluid. And now we have some mounting hardware. These fellas here, they have grooves on them. It's kind of like, a, or not grooves, they have barbs. So what you do with these is you insert it through the fins on your cooler, like such. So you insert that all the way through. The next step is you take this spacer. You put this spacer over the barbs and that will ins it will isolate this cooler from rubbing against your condenser or your radiator or whatever other cooler you have in line. And then you'll run this through the fins on your condenser or your radiator. And then you put this locking tab on last. And it's kind of like a zip tie. Once you get that in place, you'll just cut off the excess. So we'll show the full installation here in just a minute, but that is the theory on how this actually goes together. So this is a very quick and easy installation setup. Uh, the other pieces that come in here is we have a 3 8 line. So this is transmission fluid cooler line. They will fit over the barbs at the end of these fittings here. So they just pop on like such. And then you put a hose clamp on. And that is essentially how you install the auxiliary transmission cooler. All right, round two. So we'll go ahead and make this connection and feed it through the rubber shield. We'll make our other connection. Don't forget your hose clamp. Now, if you were planning on keeping your stock transmission oil cooler, you would not cut both of these lines. You would only cut one and you would splice into both ends of one line. But since we're bypassing it, we've cut both lines and rerouted everything to the front of the vehicle for our external oil cooler install. We'll be going in front of the condenser. <laughs> 